Hello there, Travis here, back with another episode of Smallville. This is going to be Season 1, Episode 16. Let's get into it. How much will you give me for it? Three dollars. Fifty bucks. Oh. It's made out of gold. Who told you that? My mother. Tell her it's a fake. You still giving fifty bucks for a fake? I That's can't. nice. She's dead. Oh. I'll give you sixty bucks. So what's the deal? I told you I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, this is our last job. Liar. Ah. Uh. Where all you got, kid? Tell me the combination. Forty-five, thirteen, twenty-nine. Sneaky, Boy. sneaky. You know the drill, right? Let's do this. Get the bag. Let's go. Don't forget my angel. Creepy! Warrior angel. What the hell? Yeah. Hey! Who are you supposed to be? Let's go! Where did you get that for? Gotta go. Where's he going? That nice go. old man. Ryan! People suck. Oh no! Are you alright? Are you alright? I lost my shoe. I'm taking you to the hospital. Come on. Interesting. What an intro. Just scrapes and bruises. Have you managed to contact his parents yet? Other than knowing his name, Ryan claims to have no memory. Are you saying he has amnesia? It's most likely post-traumatic shock. His memory will probably return within 24 to 48 hours. Mark is so damn adorable. Doesn't. Martha, Jonathan, it's unlikely all Ryan's cuts and bruises were caused by the accident. You think he's been abused? He may not want to remember. Can she share that info? What will like... happen to him? We've called child services and can't come out until tomorrow at the earliest. So the only place at the juvenile cell at the sheriff's station. That's no place for a child. Keep him there! Why can't come with us? That's a great idea. Can we do that? I'll have to make some calls, but I don't see why not. It'd be a big help to us, and I'm sure Ryan would appreciate it. Looks like he hasn't been fed. Mark? It's me, Mrs. Ken. Ryan, did you do all that? I hope you don't mind. I couldn't Aww. sleep. Hey, what's the occasion? I wanted to make myself useful. Thanks for letting me stay here. Oh, hey, you can stay Adopt as long him. as you want. Maybe some of you will rub off on Clark. What does everybody want? Let me guess. Pancakes with powdered sugar, not syrup. How did you know that? I saw you eyeing them when you came in. <clears throat> Scrambled eggs. Not syrup. Bacon. Why well, you coffee, eat those dry ass pancakes? A little bit of honey. <laughs> well, that is some trick there, kiddo. Going all out for the new kid, huh? Clark Ryan took care of all this himself. Making me look bad. What do you want for breakfast? Don't you want anything, Clark? I'm just gonna have some pancakes. Ryan, you okay? Ryan, are you sure you don't remember anything about last night? I still can't figure out why you were out on Route 90 at 10 o'clock at night. His parents suck. Said I don't remember. I'm not hiding anything. No one said you were, buddy. Guess your parents want me to leave now. Why would you think that? Because they don't believe me. We just want to help you get home. What if I don't have a home? Adopt them! If he found out I did bad things, what would happen to me then? Ryan, everything's gonna work out. I know it. You like comics? I like this one. Warrior Angel, why him? Because he protects people who can't protect themselves. I like being around you, Clark. It's peaceful. Why don't you get your head out of that comic? Play a little ball. I know what you're thinking. They really suck. Go ahead. Get your hand up. Keep your elbow straight. Just guide the ball with your fingers. He shoots! Yes. He scores! Nice. nice! Excuse me. I'm looking for the boy from the paper. You know, the one who lost his memory. And you are? Private detective. I work for a couple who lost their son. Is Ryan still around? No, but if you just wait, I'll get Dr. Harden. I know she'd like to speak with you. A whole lot of red leather there. That's a great sound, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Do you ever think we made the wrong decision not adopting another child? Maybe sharing a secret with a younger brother would have helped. He seems to really like Ryan. I don't think he's the only one. You've always had a soft spot for strays. Well, the last one turned out all right. Adopt him! Thought you were still in Monica. Backbone of surprise, fusing speed with secrecy. Get a haircut. You look like you're in the Bee Gees. Isn't that 80s dad. I never give my plant managers a, a heads up before spot inspection. Well, plants doing well. Luther Corp stock is up. I'm not here to complain. It just looks on contrary, terrible your on him. Performance lately has been more than adequate. Is that a compliment. That sounds dangerously like a compliment. <laughs> I push your legs. I don't deny it. Greatness minor, minor is a compliment. rarefied air one has to be taught to breathe. Philip of Macedonia raised his son among lions to instill fearlessness in him. Didn't he also try to impale the kid with a spear? In an aborted coup attempt. 
History remembers that boy as Alexander the Great. You didn't come all this way to lecture me on Greek history again? No. I want you to come back to Metropolis. Special advisor to the Chairman Emeritus. That would be me. The title sounds important. It's an opportunity. It's what you've been waiting for ever since you came to Smallville. I'll think about it. <laughs> you want to keep me uh, dangling so it looks like you're granting me a favor instead of receiving one? We don't need to play games. He's a douche. Games are all we've got. I don't like him. I don't like you. Wow. You're like a modern day Casper Hauser. Who's that? Chloe's the queen of obscure and irrelevant references. He's a kid from the 19th century with amnesia. All he could remember was his name. How's that for irrelevant? What happened to him? Well, I never heard of him. His story spread throughout Europe, and people from all over came to see if he was their missing child. How many people had did missing you ever find his children? Parents? Shit. You know, yeah, he did. Um, he found his parents, and they lived happily ever after. Wait. Why didn't you just say he was murdered? How did you know that? You know, why don't we take that picture? Mind reader. What picture? You're not putting me on that freak wall, are you? It's called the Wall of Weird. This picture's just to check against missing persons. I'm gonna go download this. I'll be there in a sec. She likes you. Yeah, we're friends. She wants to be more than just friends. I think she wants you to ask her to the prom. Chloe? Yeah, right. No, oh, really. <laughs> she already picked out a dress. It's pink. Ryan, you just met Chloe. She hates dresses, and she's not exactly the prom type. Well, maybe she has a romantic side you never knew about. Or maybe my mom hit you harder than I thought. Let's get a picture of my boys. So, Cute. how does it feel having a little brother type figure in your life? Pretty cool. I always dreamed of having a brother or sister. Someone you can totally trust and would always be there for you. I, I wish I had a little brother or sister. That I have an older sister and she's a dumb fuck. Warrior Angel. I'm a fan myself. You must be Ryan. I'm Lex like... Luthor. Clark told me all about you. You know I have one of the Original you. first edition panels framed in your house. How'd you know that? You're rich. <laughs> That's what rich people do, collect stuff. So you met Ryan. <laughs> Apparently we're both big warrior angel fans. I didn't know you liked comic books. A strange visitor from another planet who protects the weak. When I was young, he was my idol, not to mention the fact he's bald. I have the whole collection. Maybe I can bring Ryan by later, we can check it out. Yeah. Do you like that, buddy? Whatever. Ah, Whatever. Well, Ryan not, Ryan's not a big fan of Lex, eh? That was kind of rude. Lex is my friend. Don't worry about him. He's going to leave. Lex's father offered him a new job. You don't know Lex's father. He would never do that. You gotta keep this kid around. Stories about people. Free I'll people's minds. That's a useful tool. Oh no. I don't like him. I don't like your face. Is he hiding in the dumpster? Right? Garbage truck's gonna go away. just out the back. He looks scared, Clark. Damn it! Disgusting. You're safe now. Oh my god, that CGI though. Clark, where's your young sidekick? Sleeping. He thinks you're his big brother. Yeah, I guess I am. Till tomorrow. Kids growing on you. You know how it is. Being an only child, no one else around. Don't you ever wish you had a sibling? I had one, Clark. Really? I didn't know. When I was 11, my mother got pregnant again. It was a total surprise. I've never seen my father happier. The day Julian was born was the only time I felt like I was part of a real family. What happened? The morning of his baptism, my mother went to his nursery, found him in his crib, he had stopped breathing. My mother was never the same after that, and my father got even more distant. I think he saw Julian as his second chance. That's sad. A chance for him to have a son he could truly love. I'm sorry. It's in the past, Clark. We would have ended up hating each other anyway. My father would have seen to that. I didn't come over to recount my family's tragic history. My father has offered me a chance to return to Metropolis. Did you tell Ryan about that? I haven't told anyone, Clark. Well, that's what you always wanted. I used to think it was. Now I'm not so sure. I was a different person there. A different person around my father. He wants an answer tomorrow night. We're having dinner in Metropolis. If anyone can choose who they want to be, Lex, it's you. Knock, knock. Mr. Kent. Ryan's been doing chores with me all day. I'd like uh, a cup of coffee and whatever he wants. And if you can point me to the phone, I'll see if Martha wants it. All right, send the back. Enjoy. So how are you feeling today? Much better, thanks. Good. Do you think it's okay if friends have secrets? Strange question. Why do you ask? Because I think Clark's hiding something from me. Everybody has secrets, Ryan. It's true. Really? What's yours? If I told you, then it wouldn't be a secret. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> 
Thanks, Guy. You're a lifesaver. You're welcome. Why the frown? She's not a good person, Lana. You should fire her. Uh. Ryan, why would you say something like that? Because it's the truth. How do you know? It's a secret. It's like Ryan's found himself a new family. So go about your business. Bye. Time to get back to work. When do we get the kid? When we're ready. Who's in the back? I'm or was that his hand? Here. Thanks for helping with the clue hunt. And help solve the riddle of Ryan is my pleasure. There really is a riddle. I'm starting to think you may not have amnesia. Clark, the kid adores you. Why would he lie? He's running from somebody. I found something. A clue, a clue. Comic books and Twizzlers. Something every growing boy needs. What? That's where I would hide something. If you were a CIA operative, who do you think it is? I don't know. Oh, Mom, so those people aunt. aren't his parents. I yeah, thought I they were. Out how he knew they the kidnapped them. Was murdered. You weren't exactly wearing a poker face. Ryan does say weird things. He even said that you wanted me to ask you to prom and that you'd already bought a dress. It's not pink, is it? Uh, I was just looking at it. It's not like I actually bought it. How would Ryan know that? She bought it. Lies on Manelli. Know. Maybe he's an alien. You know, I don't know. Clark's the best thing that's ever happened to you, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He makes up for not being able to have your own kids. He does. Has he always been so strong? What do you mean? The way he tore off the back panel of the garbage truck and saved me. Don't be silly. He couldn't do that. If you say so. What's your greatest fear? That I won't get this pie done by the time you have to leave. <laughs> Why don't you go outside and shoot some hoops? Apples are so green. My mouth is like watering. Uh. What are you doing down here? Clark, don't be mad. How'd you know about this? I heard about it in your mom's mind. I wanted to see it for myself. Can you hear everything people think? Not you. Only what's on the surface. What they're thinking at that moment. Except for you. I can't read your mind. That's how I knew you were different. Now I know why. I can't believe you do this. I'll never tell. You keep my secret, I'll keep yours. It's not that simple. Sure it is. I know your dad's always worried that people are going to find out. I can tell when someone's getting close. I told you about Chloe. I can tell you about Lana. You want to know her secret? No. Maybe. No, Ryan, I don't. Why not? It's about you. You can't do this. Tell us, tell us, I tell what it's like us. To be different. What it's like to have to hide. People don't think you're a freak. Everywhere I go. I feel bad for him. I hear people's thoughts. I can't block it out anymore. Is this your mother? She died. Why didn't you tell me? I was hoping I could start over with your family. Oh. They were so nice. I wanted them to adopt me like they did you, so I'd be safe. Who's chasing you? My stepfather and his new wife. They've been using me, my abilities, to steal. I wanted to stop. They threatened me. They hit me. Don't cry. You have to protect me, Clark. You're the only one that can. That's sad. I'll get it. Nah, 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 nah. You say anything and I'll kill them. You know I will. Clark! Ah, so you must be Ryan. Can I help you? Mr. Kent, Child Services. I'm here to pick up Ryan. Well, you're a little early, aren't you? We weren't expecting it for an hour. We can't thank you enough for taking Ryan. It's our pleasure. He's welcome to stay longer. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. I need to put him in foster care. They can Why can't they be foster care? Um, we think Ryan might be running away from his stepfather. We alerted the police. Don't worry, we'll keep him safe. Ready to go? Could he wait and say goodbye to our son Clark? He'll be home any minute. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, Mrs. Kent. Just tell him thanks. If you need anything, just call. I hate this. Dad? What's wrong? Child services came and took Ryan away about 15 minutes ago. What? Why didn't he wait for me? I wanted to say goodbye. I don't know, son. They said they're in a hurry. I'm sorry. Nope, because that's Child Protective Services. No, it's not. Who is that? On your way to Metropolis. Yeah. Fancy limo. I, uh, I wanted you to have something. A sword? A foil, Clark. Every hero should have one. A foil? I guess this means you've decided you're leaving. I haven't made up my mind one way or the other. Bye. If you haven't made up your mind, why are you giving me a going away present? Keep that away from the kid. He's already gone. I'm sorry. I know how much you liked him. What it's worth, I hope you stay. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch tit. I think limos are kind of stupid. Driver, hey, what's going on? Driver? Inside, come on! What are you doing? Get it. Mr. Luther? Brian? Shut up! Oh. Rude! Go! Go! I'd rather ride in like a big old trust fund was easy. Tahoe. Now give me the password. Escalade. Sure, what are you about? Tell me what it is, rich boy. My father has it. I don't. Expedition. Some sort of big SUV over a limo. Fast Password. Got it. He's gross. With the sword. It's a foil. I'm guessing it's a gift from our favorite millionaire playboy. He's thinking of moving back to Metropolis. 
Well, I'm still here, Clark. I'm not going anywhere. Sources at the sheriff's office have given me a heads up on Ryan's stepdad. You have sources? Yeah. A Show cute the in traffic. picture. I talked my way Show out of the him the picture. He told me I was plucky. Maybe I'll ask him to prom. So Ryan's stepdad is a real catch. Career criminal. This is Lexus limo driver. You just dumped him, bro? Rude. Give me the pass. Fuck off. Don't make me ask again. It's Julian. Broke down looking. You look like a broke down Patrick Swayze wannabe. Clark, you okay? Yeah, I think so. Which way did it go? Straight down Route 90. Clark, they've got Ryan. Let's get some help. Close your eyes while I run. Get out. Torch the limo, baby! You guys suck. Julie. Give me the real password. Don't mess with me. I'm not gonna tell you. I'll drop him right now. Once he gets the money, he's gonna kill you. Don't listen to him. He's stuck in trash to pull us apart. We're just about to hit the jackpot, baby. All we gotta do is trust each other. You know, this kid has always freaked me out, but the one thing I'll say about him is he never lied. You know what? That's true. He didn't. Ryan! Hey, kid, Call where the are you going? Damn! You gotta be careful. Those are slippery. Ryan, can't hide forever. Son of a biscuit. You know, your mother really hates you. Stand having a freak for a son. Ever think of it? Wasn't that crazy about you either? Fuck off, bro. Hurry. Dynamite. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That was awesome. Clark! It's okay, buddy. That was awesome. You're safe now. Fuck that guy. He chucked that ball. <laughs> I love it. I was hoping it would have knocked him in the head. Hi, Lana. Hey. Lana well, would like to say goodbye. Where are you going? Edge City. Why? She's just up an aunt who lives there. She's coming by this afternoon. Oh, okay. I wanted to thank you for your advice on Sky. You were right. She was stealing from Mattel. Hey. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Wow. I think you made his year. So, you recover yet? I don't know, but I'm definitely in love. <laughs> Join the club. Ooh. Shouldn't you be packing? No. I'm not going back to Metropolis. That's all you've wanted ever since I assigned you the crap factory. Shut I know why you want me up, back. Barry Gibb. I'm driving you crazy, aren't I? I'm not clubbing till 6 a.m., not getting arrested. I'm on track. That's what scares you. You want me back where you can keep an eye on me. You're making a mistake, Lex. You know what those emperors you're so fond of talking about were really afraid of? That their sons would become successful and return to Rome at the head of their own army. You think you can find your future in Smallville? I'm your future. Now nah, you the past, bitch. Join me in Metropolis. You the past. How long have you been waiting to hear me say those words? I've waited to hear other things from you for a lot longer. I'll return Shade. to Metropolis when I'm ready. At the head of an army? Shade. Why is he holding two blue balls? Isn't there only one blue ball? We're really gonna miss you, What Ryan. a jam! It gets cold in Edge City. I packed some of Clark's old jackets. Something for you to grow into. Thanks, Mrs. Kent. You're welcome around here anytime you want. I know what you're worried about, but don't be. I'll keep Clark's secret. I know what it's like to have to hide who you are from the world. You sure you're gonna be all right? She's a nice person. She's just as nervous as I am. Are you sure you don't want to know how Lana feels about you? I prefer to find out on my own. Why can't he stay around? He seems like a cool kid. Clark, be careful of Lex. I know you like it, but there's a lot of darkness he keeps from the world. I've seen it in his head. I like to believe in people's best. I want you to have something. I can't take those. I don't need them anymore. I have you. Oh my god. Oh! See, the allergies. The allergies are hitting. That was so sweet. And the song. Oh. I loved that episode. I think that's probably one of my favorite episodes so far, season one. I love that. I hope that Ryan is a character that comes back. I hope we see him again. Don't spoil that song kicking in at the end. That was that was that was really good. That was a really awesome episode. I love that. They should have adopted another kid. Clark would be a great big brother. I'll be your little brother, Clark.
I love this show, man. Can't wait for the next one. Interesting that he, uh, Ryan let, let, uh, Clark know about Lex's darkness, though. Because I think, I think that's pretty interesting. I wonder if that'll resonate with Clark or not. But we shall see. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. I'll see you on the next one.